News Alert. Get this. The Kabul airport is under imminent terror threat. The U.S. warning to Americans telling them to leave the area right away. Tens of thousands of Americans in Afga and Afghans have already been evacuated from Kabul and are being housed at U.S. US military air base in Qatar. And the facilities and the conditions are terrible. But now they're reportedly facing a growing crisis. Trey Yinks joins us now from Doha. Hey, Trey, how does it look? Well, Brian, good morning. Qatari officials in private are warning the Americans about the conditions currently housing thousands of Afghan evacuees. Things like water and food shortages, major concerns to the Biden administration. Now, the White House says they are aware of these issues and they're being improved as we speak. This does come as the conditions in Afghanistan, specifically at the airport in Kabul, continue to deteriorate due to security threats outside the gates. Kabul's airport has been basically closed right now. The U.S. State Department now telling Americans to shelter in place and not come to the airfield. This as American and British officials were made aware of specific ISIS-K threats against the airport. No further details were provided, though the timing could not have come at a worse moment. According to U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, there are still 1,500 Americans inside Afghanistan. A number of European allies of the U.S. say they will stop flights out of of the country starting tomorrow night as the U.S. troop drawdown begins. Yesterday, scenes outside the airport showed thousands of people still waiting to be evacuated, wading through sewage and climbing over walls to try and get inside. The Pentagon now says 13,000 people were evacuated in the past 24 hours, bringing the total since the Taliban took over to more than 95,000. U.S. officials are still pledging to help others even after U.S. troops leave. Take a listen. Let me be crystal clear about this. There is no deadline on our work to help any remaining American citizens who decide they want to leave to do so, along with the many Afghans who have stood by us over these many years and want to leave and have been unable to do so. The Secretary of State had a lot of words about the situation on the ground in Afghanistan, but provided no plan about how the United States will help Americans who are still stranded there after the deadline expires. Brian.